Hey guys, welcome. This is my Lordship or slash High Lordship Let's Play. I am. Da -da -da -da, you can probably see already, there's no point me trying to do anything special about it. I am Petra Baelish. Or Littlefinger, as I'll probably just call him. Um, we are Littlefinger. Um, I thought it was actually quite a good one. What I did is I, on your comments, obviously, I did random number generator. And it came up with a guy who said uh, Littlefinger or the phrase. And so I, I guess that was me to pick one or the other. And I thought, you know, a lot of people did say phrase. And I would a phrase would be a fun one. But I decided to go with Littlefinger in the end because, you know, the phrase or High Lordship... Littlefinger is just a lordship. He's in a really bad position. I chose the um, Robert's Rebellion scenario because I think he's in a he's in a he's not in the best position. He has no heirs. Um, he has a tiny place, middle of point, and he has hardly any men. How many men can we raise? It is four hundred. So yeah, we're not like in a. <laughs> it's not the most influential place. Um, but luckily, I thought it's also a good point. Cause he's sixteen, so this means we have his whole life basically to plan out. Um, and try and make something of ourselves, and that's going to be the aim. We're going to try and get as far as we can, obviously, get our family on the Iron Throne as Baelish. Um, I have not decided how I'm going to do this yet, because with the position we're in, it's going to be down to a lot of luck, I think. And probably you probably won't get Baelish, um, Littlefinger, on the throne. It'll probably be one of his kids or further along. I, uh, I'm trying to think of ways, but it's going to be hard. It's going to be long. It's going to be a lot of luck, I think. If luck comes our way... We could do it quite quickly. If not, it's going to take a while. Okay, let's start getting this started then. Um, pick an ambition. Now, I'm going to try and make... He seems to... Little thing is that he seems to make friends with all his lords. You know, he made friends with um, the Tullys, obviously. Then he made friends with Aaron. And finally got the King's Landing. So, is there one be friends? No, not befriend your liege. Okay, it's not there. I would say get married is important because obviously we need kids, but... As we all know, one of my other tasks is going to be to try and marry uh, Catelyn Stark. We're going to try and get rid of Eddard Stark and marry Catelyn. Because as we all know, he's obviously infatuated with her. You know, he fought for her against um, Ed's brother and lost. He's obviously infatuated with her. So we're going to we're gonna try and take her back, I think, at some point. Oh, there we go. Befriend Jon. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, we're already in good position, obviously, in the Vale. We are actually the Castilian of the Vale. So that's that's good for us. Um, rule of married. I lost a succession. Yep, know that. Open council positions, okay. Septon. Okay, I have no Septon. <laughs> okay, let's see what people we got in our little... Might as well call it a little castle. Uh, it's more of a tower, I think, if I remember from the books. Uh, Lucas, okay. Carla, yep, you're definitely the best. I think it usually just gives you the best ones anyway. Ah, Kettleback. Um, Kettle Black. It's nice to see them in. Is his brothers in here? Aha, there we go. Osmond, Osfried, and Osney. That's cool to see them in here. 16, 12. Let's see how his brothers are coming along. 12. Wow, he's 35. Okay, so there is kids. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, so this is the father. Ah, I don't think we I don't think I've ever met him. I don't we haven't even met the Kettlebacks actually. In the show, I don't. Th I don't think they've been on the TV show, unless they've been in the background or something. But that's a shame. He has no martial skills at all. Wow. Okay. Okay. He's kind, and, and he's kind and cruel. Hmm. That seems a bit okay. Oh well. Okay. Mr. Albert of Milton, Middleton. Nice little whispers. Yeah, they all seem the best. We actually didn't check you. Okay, yeah. Okay, and obviously send for the Meister. The Meister, sorry. That's what you've always got to do at the start. Uh, okay, yep, yeah, nothing really there. Okay, so yeah. I could marry straight away, but I'm going to leave it a little bit. Um... We'll see. There's obviously um, Mia Stone. She's about at the moment. We could always marry her when she gets older. I mean, I think she's only about one or two. So we'd have to wait a while, but we could always marry her. And the good thing is about Little Thing, obviously, you know, he's a guy, obviously, so he can get older. As long as he marries someone young, he can have kids. So it's it's not the biggest deal, you know. Obviously, if I want to marry Cat, though, that would have to happen soon. And in our position, we can't marry many high-up people because, obviously, no one really wants us. 
<laughs> but yeah, okay, we're playing in Robert's Rebellion. So yeah, there's a massive war going on at the moment. My plan is to just help John Aaron as much as we can. Because obviously the more we help him, the more he'll like us. And that's literally all my power is going to be coming from. My power is going to come from my friendship with the lords above me. Because I have no power at all. So we need to keep them friendly. Okay. So we got them all getting ready. The Riverlands is arming up. Okay. There was quite a lot of... um. I, I was interested to see all the ones you guys said. There were a lot of uh, Reigns of Castamere. There were a lot of... A few Boltons actually. Not as many as I've probably thought. Uh, a few Freys. A few Danes actually. Wasn't surprised about the Danes. But there was more than I thought. And... What was there? Oh yeah. John Connington. I was actually surprised how many Connington's there were. I did not expect the many people to want Connington. But that would actually be a really good one, actually. When I read those, I was actually like, that's actually a really good idea. Um, that might be one for the future. But at the moment, we're going to go with Baelish. One thing, this is probably the hardest one anyone asked for. I think only like two people asked for it. <laughs> it just happened to land on one of them. Okay. And plus, I love Baelish. I was really happy it landed on him, actually. Okay, we haven't got the best maester. I should probably send them to do stuff. That is probably a good idea. Uh, Castilian. Obviously, province improved defences. Let's improve defences for now. Just because we never know when war is going to come to us. <laughs> improve um, fabricate claims. Do you know what? We're going to fabricate a claim somewhere. Um, I'm going to make it outside of the veil, though. So that... You know, my lord can possibly press it for me. Because I can't beat anyone. Um, actually, let's have a look. Can I actually beat anyone? Like, round me. Let's say. Okay, he can get 1,300. He can um, get 1,100. Any of the um, fingers? One, four, okay. Yeah, as you can see, we're completely outnumbered by almost everyone. Uh, oh, I need to click on there. Move. Oh, shit, I had it. Okay, how many men can you get? Even he can get more than me. The Paps can get more than middle of point. Oh, yeah. As you can see, we're in a really bad position. So there's no point trying to take something away from one of my neighbours. I might as well fabricate a claim somewhere else and hope that John Aaron tries to take it for me. Um, I would say the Riverlands is because we don't want it too far away, obviously. I guess we could go for the, one of the Crownlands. That's always... But then again, they're directly under... They're directly under him, so that's probably not a good idea. Yeah. That's just coming off. Yeah, let's go for here. Okay. Suppress the vaults, train troops, train children. Uh, train troops, obviously. I've got no children. Collect taxes, oversee construction. Uh, we need money. Money, money, money. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of money if we ever want to get anywhere. You know, to buy mercenaries and stuff. That's going to really be our only hope. We have to buy mercenaries. <laughs> if we ever want to get involved with anyone. Wait, local tax modified of minus... No, we're not really aiming to take anyone out yet. The Spire Network scheme. The assassination is probably important. Let's put them here in the veil. Just in case we ever need to get rid of John. <laughs> what happens to if, he, John, if John dies, actually? Because obviously he has no kids. Is she pregnant? No, she's not pregnant. What happens if... Okay. So, Denny's of Gates of the Moon. He's an Aaron. Okay, so there's an Aaron left, at least. Uh, and he's a son as well, called John Aaron. Okay. Finish that off, actually. And the last one, two children. Ten to the wounded. Uh, I guess ten to the wounded. Okay. There's not much I can do. The main thing for us at the moment is to see how this war develops. Because, um, obviously, this war can go either one or two ways. Obviously, and either way is interesting. Obviously, if the Mad King wings, the Targaryens are still on the throne, and we have a Mad King. That's always fun. It might be better for Littlefinger. But then again, if the Stormlands wins, and obviously we've got Robert, and he's technically a usurper, and that means there could be chaos in the future. So either way, we're sort of happy. Because obviously, as we all know, the more the chaos there is, the better it is for me. That's how things always go for someone like us. At the moment, they're a bit young. We have no prospects at the moment. We have no allies as such. It's going to be difficult. I can look at marriages. Uh, as you can see, there's Mia Stone. She's one years old. We could always wait for her, which means that we have a claim. 
our kids at least, and her obviously, would have a claim on the Iron Throne. Which is always good. Um, which could mean I could try and start a faction up for her. And if people would fight for her, then we could try and get the Iron Throne. Then again, obviously we have to wait for Robert to win. Oops, wasn't meant to click that. I was going to click on her. But yeah, we'd have to wait for Robert, obviously, to win the throne. <laughs> before we could act, before we'd even think about it, it's just the Stormlands, which is still good. And for some reason, my eye is... Ow. Ow. Don't know what's going on there. There's no one else, really, I could see, though. That would marry us, you know. There's Cersei, obviously, is not married, but she's not going to marry me. <laughs> so... Okay, the unsatisfying relationship with a married woman is really becoming irksome. I wish I could love her openly without fearing everyone's scorn. Um, I'm not married. What? What? Oh, sorry, I get it. And she, uh, I'm having a relationship with someone who is married. Okay, so I'm assuming I'm, I'm someone's lover. Okay, I think I know who it is. We're not going to say just in case it's not, because I'll look stupid. Um, unless it ends. Hmm, maybe it can still work. No, I'll make it work. Stress. You have lost the f love and feeling for your lover. Let's go with that. Maybe it can still work. Okay, there we go. The Reach has taken down the Stormlands. That's not good for them. Can't, there's the veil. The veil's still forming up. They haven't headed off yet. Uh, the Riverlands is coming in to save the day. For now, we'll, we'll see what's going on in the war, and then we'll uh, take care of my own stuff. Decide upon civil war. So, okay. We'll stick with who we're with at the moment. You know, John Aaron's caught me as Castilian, so. But it looks as though the Riverlands is coming to the rescue, though the Reach has a lot more men. A lot, a lot more men. Okay. In recognition of your glory and honour, accept an office to anoint you with the holy orders and grant you knighthood. Fine, in recognition of my abilities, I shall become a famous knight. Fuck your sirs. Um, so you know unless I think I don't think there's much point in him being a knight, because as we, you know, he said, I think he says when he lost to Brandon Stark, he realised that he wasn't one of the strong guys. Do you know what I mean? Like he wasn't one of the big guys, you know. He needed to beat them with other ways by fucking them. If that's what I remember, we said that's on the TV show that conversation, but still, um, I'm, I'm going to take it though, just because I don't really gain anything by saying no. I gain it and get knighthood. You know, there's, there's no point in me saying no. But I'm going to try and win it, obviously, in his attributes. Do you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm going to keep to the character, but I'm going to try a bit harder to push myself for the throne with this one rather than what I've done with other ones and try to kick strict, strictly with their character. But we're going to generally keep the characters I'm with. But the general aim is ending with us on the Iron Throne. Okay, the Riverlands has got destroyed there. The Stormlands has sneaked away. Sulked away, whatever you want to say. My love... My love is married to another man and it pains my soul. I'll never be able to marry her myself. Oh, how cruel love can be. I will write a poem of my pain. Wine will cure my pains. I shall seek help from prayer. I should forget her. See, I don't think I really love it anyway. Uh, I don't know what's happened lately. No matter what my lover does, I feel irritated and I'm actually starting to avoid her. Our relationship brings me only irritation. It's as if we've grown apart. I don't love her anymore. Breaks up with Lady Paramount, Lisa of the Vale. Oh, here comes the Martells. Dawn is coming up. This is not looking good for the Usurper. His armies have been destroyed. Uh, the Reach is just too strong. And the, the Dawn are just coming in for reinforcements. The North. Okay, here comes the Vale with 21,000 men. That might be what's going to make the difference. 20,000 there already. Ooh. What happened there? Who ha oh, the North. Eddard Stark has managed to relieve the Riverlands. And now the Vale as well. They've destroyed the Reach. Wow. Okay, this is the turning point now. That could be it.
Dawn were possibly too late to join. And with the Vale and the North coming at the same time, they have just destroyed them. That was lucky for the Riverlands, though. They really needed those extra men. Where did the North go? Huh. I can't see the North's army. Oh, there they are. How the hell did they get there? They got there free freaking fast. Okay, they destroyed... Oh, they destroyed the Targaryen's army as well. This is not looking good for the Mad King. Luckily, though, they haven't attacked King's Landing yet. They're staying around it. I'm just trying to think of anything I can actually do <laughs> to help my position. I really... This position we're in, it, just, it doesn't really allow you to do much at the start. That's the real big problem. This is going to be one of those let's plays that's going to be quite long for you guys. Um, I try and keep you guys entertained with what's going on in the rest of the kingdom while we try and work our way up. Once some white plans come to fruition, though, obviously, and we get a little bit of a headway, that's when things will get really interesting. Until then, it's going to be a lot of hard, tense work. But at least it's, something, it's definitely something completely different there, because obviously, since before, I've only really been power mounts and stuff, or on my Feast of Crows ones, you know, stealing the power mountsy and stuff like that. So, this is definitely something different. This is like the opposite. <laughs> this is like going all the way to the opposite. Oh, and the Black Fires, obviously, again, that was another one I was taking the throne as well. But yeah. Okay, the Reach. Okay, is running away. Okay, the Reach seems to be running away up north. Not really. Okay, they're chasing the North's army. Benjamin Stark's army they've met up with. Since I arrived at Middle Point, there's never been a shortage of soldiers. How many men we got now then? Ooh, almost 450. Ooh, actually almost 560. We could get. That's not too bad. We just need to get loads of money, really. That's my only chance really is to get loads of money and get enough to hire mercenaries and yeah, take places from other people. Normally my best way, personally for me, the way when I start off as a small lord, I get through marriages. That's how I generally do it. Um, and a few claims here and there, but generally it's marriages that get me up. Um, tricky sort of marriages, you know. End your plot, please. But with this, it's going to be much harder because I'm only me. <laughs> it's only little finger, you know. Um, he hasn't really got a chance of marrying anyone high up. So it doesn't really seem worth it. Like I say, Mia Stone might be worth it because she might allow us to have someone else fight for her claim, which will then give our kids, you know, either the Stormlands or the throne. So I think that's going to be my best option. And because she's a bastard, obviously, she'll accept. So I think that's my best option at the moment. We'll see. Like I say, something could pop up. I think with little thing, I'm going to wait for marriages to see what pops up. The Stormlands is trying to... Ooh, the Stormlands and the North. Eddard and Stannis are both um, sieging King's Landing. The Iron Throne army is staying outside. Out the way of the Vale. We have to reach as well. Where are the Martells? I'm not sure where the Dawn went. Were they destroyed or can I just not see them? Okay, the Vale has just been attacked. Looks like they're going to lose. But the Iron Throne's army is not strong to take on Eddard and Stannis. Who are probably going to capture King's Landing soon. Which will not be good for the Mad King because I think... He's, yeah, he's there. So if they take it, they can capture him. Uh, where are you? He's leading troops. Okay, Rhaegar's leading troops. Ooh, he had a daughter. And it's Daenerys. Daenerys Targaryen. And obviously the mad little Viserys. Everyone's favourite character. I usually find whenever I played this scenario before, when it originally came out, Robert would always die. <laughs> That's what I always found would happen. And for some reason he's raining the storm's end. Why aren't you on the battlefield? Ooh, Neva Stannis. Did their armies get destroyed? No, they're still there. But Sir Richard has taken the front, not Stannis, okay. Yeah, I usually find that he dies and then Stannis takes over. Okay. 
Taking bets, folks. Bets, folks. Who's going to win? The Mad King or the Stormlands? Make your bets, folks. I'm going to go with Stormlands. At the moment. Uh, that North Army's really helped out. I was going to say, when I couldn't see them, I was going to say, when they get here, that might be the difference. And it looks as though it is. 